welcome to the Academy Stadium. So we've got kick off with the Super League commentary this afternoon as Manchester City host Leicester City. Three weeks today, City will be walking out at Wembley to face Chelsea in the FA Cup final, but it's back to league matters today. Well, Gareth Taylor's side looking to secure a cup double after lifting the League Cup. They also want a place in next season's Champions League. But to do that, they need to finish in the top three. Sivan back in possession. Well, that's a lovely ball down the right channel, if they can work this right. Chance for an opening goal, and City do get an opening goal. The breakthrough on 50 minutes, and they worked it so well. And it's Caroline Weir who's got the goal, her 13th in all competitions so far this season. But she's just been able to steer this beyond Denny Lambourne. Good play down the right-hand side. There's the cutback. Left-footed finish from Caroline Weir. Great work initially from Chloe Kelly to spot Caroline Weir, who just peeled off her marker and has put Manchester City ahead on 16 minutes. Alana Kennedy wins the first, helped on by Caroline Weir. Now they might be able to get bodies forward. Is there going to be a chance here for a second? Oh, just wide of the target. Well, it's not a bad effort. Leicester City scrambling to get bodies back, and Lauren Hemp, she must have thought she was in here. Here we go again. Sophie Howard trying to get back. Left-footed strike, just wide of the target. Debbie Lambourne looked beaten. Lauren Hemp it was with the chance. Leicester City unable to build any momentum. They just can't get Natasha Flint involved here. To do that, they've got to get the likes of Freya Gregory, Molly Pike, Missy Goodwin and Shannon O'Brien a lot closer to the Foxes centre forwards. Well, there might be a chance for a second. Oh, what a lovely deep finish that is. City get their second of the afternoon. How about that for a finish from Lauren Hemp? Wonderful technique. Here's the ball in from the left. Ballooned up, kept alive. And Lauren Hemp, oh, with a lovely dink finish over Demi Lambourne, spotting the keeper off a line. Oh, what about that? Superb finish from Lauren Hemp. And City will double their advantage. Lovely time to score as well. On 43 minutes as we move towards the half-time whistle. Greenwood again coming forwards. To Julie Blackstad. Nice burst of acceleration. And a chance to get this ball in from the left. Dangerous. Oh, and it's gone straight in. What a finish that is. And City, all of a sudden, threatening to shake loose, and it's Julie Blackstad. Have a look at this from the Norwegian. What about that? Well, did she mean the cross, or has she gone for this? Either way, Demi Lambourne beaten. And City extend their advantage, 3-0 up in first half stoppage time we talk about the race at the top being tight not only for the title between Chelsea and Arsenal but for that final qualification spot as well for the Champions League but it's also heating up at the bottom between Birmingham and Leicester City maybe a chance from range oh good effort Caroline Weir it was Demi Lambourne it was with the initial parry let's have a look again Left-footed strike. Ooh, almost into trouble. Natasha Flint and Gemma Perfield behind this. Perfield it is, left-footed, not a bad attempt, but straight down the middle and straight down the throat of Ellie Roebuck. Safe pair of hands. Lucy Bronze.
Here it is again. Gemma Perfield curling left footed, just dipping under. Asked a question of Ellie Roebuck, but comfortable save in the end. That's a nice ball over the top. Well, Caroline Way couldn't quite bring it under. Maybe a penalty. The referee decides it will be a penalty. Well, Demi Lamborn has come out, rushed into the challenge. And it means that City have a chance to go 4 0 up. Let's look at it again. Lauren Hemp it was who went down under the challenge. Referee blows up, steps Alice Greenwood. Oh, cool as you like. Left footed and away to the goalkeeper's right hand side. Demi Lamborn had gone the wrong way. Calm, measured finish from 12 yards from Alex Greenwood to put City 4-0 up in this game. Always looked in control. What a lovely weighted finish that is. Hemp. Too short. Can she get a first shot involved? Oh, just lashes it left footed. And it's gone over. But Bunny Shaw immediately involved. Lauren Hemp with the through ball. That's a lovely weighted pass. And Bunny Shaw, well, the angle was going against her, but entitled to go for it. Bunny Shaw out on the right hand side. Probably do with Shaw in the middle, trying to get on the end of this. Attempted overhead kick. Demi Stokes, shoot is the call. Well, she does get her shot away, the substitute, but rather snatched at the effort. Did just open up for Demi Stokes. Hear the cries from the crowd, shoot. Yeah, just wider the target. And uh, the referee blows the full-time whistle and the FA Women's Super League fixture ends Manchester City 4, Leicester City 0. And the goal scorers this afternoon, Caroline Weir, Lauren Hemp, Julie Blackstad and Alex Greenwood with a penalty. And as it stands, Manchester City in that crucial third spot level on Manchester United women who play later. And that's just because of a one goal difference. Only one goal in it between the pair. And that could be important at the end of the regular season. A reminder of City's remaining fixtures as well. Three to go. Brighton at home April 30th. Midweek fixture against Birmingham, also at the Academy Stadium, and then City on their travels for the final day of the regular season, away at Reading on May 8th, before attention turns to the FA Cup final against Chelsea on Sunday 15th of May. But Gareth Taylor's side in complete control this afternoon, 4-0 winners, could have been more, and they complete Four victories in all competitions against Leicester City this season. Full time at the Academy Stadium. It has finished. Manchester City women four, Leicester City women nil.